kick ass. These are kick ass solar panels. These have been given to me by a company down in the sunny coast here in uh, Queensland in Australia called Australian Direct. So what we have here, lightweight 300 watt solar panels. Now these weigh around about 12.9 kilos according to the specs. They're a 12 volt panel. Now as you know, I'm a bit of a fan of Kick-Ass products and I've been using their solar panels for approximately the last six years. The first panel I used was a 200 watt glass solar panel, but they're a bit heavy. So technology has changed since then. I'm relatively new to their latest type technology. The last solar panel I purchased from, through from Australian Direct from Kick-Ass would have been a solar blanket, 200 watt solar blanket that I still have at home that goes over the top of my windscreen. These I've found are very efficient. I've been really impressed on how efficient they are. And I'll put that down to the panels they're using. So it's really good value for what you're getting. There's a lot of options out there, solar panels. And to be frank, particularly in the 12 volt solar panel range, a lot of them just do not perform as they say they do. I've come across some solar panels <clears throat> that are 200 watts plus and you're lucky to get six, seven amps out of them. If you're lucky, at the best. Majority of the time, five amps. And majority of the 12 volt panels seem to be like that. So to find something of this value range and this quality, I mean, guys, my high voltage solar panel, the Safari, is a 250 watt solar panel, and it's a lot more expensive than what this one is. And this is a 300 watt solar panel. It's got Japanese ETFE coating on the front, which is the best you can get. Guess what, guys? These kick ass lightweight folding solar panels also have that Japanese ETFE technology on the front. How cool is that? At a much cheaper price. And it's lightweight. The thing folds up very easily. As you can see, they virtually just fold in on itself. But what I want you to see, guys, is look how thin they are. Look how narrow they are. They don't take up much room in your vehicle. Now mind you, this is a 300 watt, so this is the largest of their range. So even this, you can see how compact it is. And it's lightweight. In fact, it's so lightweight, I've got to hold it here so the wind don't take it away. <laughs> so, now when they close, they close with magnets. So they've got magnets on them. So when you close them, they stay shut. So there's no straps or anything that's getting away. And as you can see, very simple to set up. Now the legs are not adjustable, so you cannot adjust the height on that. But that doesn't seem to be a problem. They're angled at an ideal angle, I think, for predominantly most of the, the sunshine. I've got them pointed straight at the sun right now, but my batteries are fully charged. But we're gonna test them out. It's only about 9 a.m. in the morning. So we're going to test them out and see what sort of amps these are going to put into my battery. And how I'm going to do that, I've got to get some amperage out of my lithium battery. And I'm going to do that with my coffee machine. So we're going to sit back, relax, and you guys join me for a coffee. Guys, I'm gonna make a cappuccino. So I've got some milk here ready to froth. So now let's have a look. So now we're drawing 1150. My solar panel is putting in 242 watts at the moment. So let's go and check and see. 
So 9 o'clock in the morning, 18.7, 18.8. Guys, so it's only around 9 o'clock in the morning and we're putting in 18 and a half amps into the battery. Now remember that's a 300 watt solar panel and it's already up to 245 watts. That's the reason why I decided to go for one of these kick-ass solar panels. And when they offered me one of their panels, I said, yep. <laughs> Bloody oath, guys. <laughs> so you can see, it's still putting in 18.4 amps. So guys, that's 18.4 amps is going into the battery. So my coffee is all brewed here now, guys. You saw how quick that is. By the way, these are brilliant, these, ne these Nespresso's. I can highly recommend these. Now, you know me, I like everything easy. Check this out. Self-cleaning mode, guys. All I've got to do is just wipe that, let go, and it self-cleans. So what I've got here is a nice cappuccino, guys. <laughs> This gives this a bit of a rinse. So I've got a hot water cycle rinse I can use. Let's have a look. 19.3 amps is going into my battery right now. 19.3 amps, guys. 19 and a half. And remember, it's only just after nine o'clock. It's all the washing done. <laughs> That's the beauty of having all this great technology, all this new gear. So let's have a look. 18.6 amps. Still putting in 18.6 amps. My battery is at 98% at the moment. The fridge is just cut in. So it's had to, to use in some of the power of the fridge. 248 watts. 248 watts. Okay, from those 300 watt solar panels. I mentioned before, it's not the first time I've come across these kick-ass lightweight solar panels. I've come across them in the past because a couple of mates have got them. One lives locally here and his name is Keith. And not long after he bought, he purchased these recently, he bought it around to my place and I connected up to my system and I was quite pleasantly surprised how many amps that thing was producing and he's got the 200 watt version of this. Another mate of mine, Stephen and Annie, they also purchased the 200 watt version and I've taken notice when I've been camping with them how many amps that puts in as well. So just go check out their channel, FJ Camping and Touring. I hope I got that right, Steve and Annie. <laughs> FJ Camping and Touring. Here you go guys. Let me tell you, those Nespresso machine, even though you're using pods, they make an awesome cappuccino, guys. Coffee, cafe, latte, whatever you want. There's even one called a latte macchiato, <laughs> of all names. Never heard of them before, but I tried one the other day, and they're really nice. Ah... Uh. Very good. Let's have a look, closer look at the solar panels. As I mentioned before, the front, is it, has got an ETFE Japanese coating, which you only get on the highest quality solar panels. Kickass has included that on these panels. There's a lot of information online on these panels. So to get it right, I'm just gonna go off the website so which is australiandirect.com.au. So they've got a tough lightweight aluminium frame. They're A-grade monocrystalline panels. It has a built-in 20 amp PWM solar regulator. Now you can bypass that. And Kickass have actually designed these panels so it's very easy to bypass that. And I will show you very shortly. Anderson plug connections, very sturdy, easy to plug, unplug. The panels are 20 mils wide. When they're folded, 
they're 80 mils, okay? So they're only 80 mils wide, so they're not gonna take up much room in your vehicle. Folded, the panels are 705 millimeters high by 673 millimeters. Just gonna grab a chair here, get a bit more comfy, guys. <laughs> it's excuse me. That's better. Includes a sturdy bag and a bag has YKK zips. Also includes a five meter cable. Now the unfolded dimensions is 2.69 meters long, 20 mils wide and 705 high. As I mentioned the folded dimensions 673 by 80 mils by 705 and they're listed at 13 kilos. It's also got a three year warranty. So Kickass have backed it up with a three year warranty. And honestly guys, they're really good value for what they are, what you pay for them. So let's now have a closer look at these panels. You can see the handle here. So once you fold them up, very easy to transport. Let's just see if we can bring this end around. So this is what the back looks like. You can see the foldable legs. You can see how you bypass your solar regulator. So that's the PWN 20 amp solar regulator that's included, mounted on the back of the solar panels. So if you're going through those, so you don't, say example, you don't have a solar regulator in your system, then you need to go through this one. So all you do is you just plug that one in there like so, and you plug this one in there. So you gotta make sure you do not have a solar, another solar regulator. But I've got solar regulators in my vehicle, so I go direct to the panel. So Kickass makes it very easy to accomplish that. Now you can see where the cables fold to go in there. They've got grommets in here, rubber grommets. So you're not going to affect the, the cable whatsoever or damage it. Easy to fold, as you can see. Now that catches straight away, that's held by a magnet. And that's it guys. And that's only 13 kilos. So remember that's a 300 watt solar panel. So my first kick-ass solar panel, that thing weighed over 20 kilos. And it was 200 watt glass panel. So technology has come a fair way since then, some five years ago. And this is the latest that Kickass has come up with. And I'll tell you what, it's a little ripper and it is Kickass. So let's show you how you open these up again. So you've taken it out the bag. It's easier at this point if you plug this in now, instead of getting down on your hands and knees. So that's all you do, open her up, fold the legs out. Very simple to do. So we'll just turn it around so we're facing the right direction. Tell you what, these magnets are pretty Pretty strong magnets too guys. So what you want to do is get it out to about that much. Get these legs out, folded, and then just let it drop down like so. This is the bag that's included with the solar panels. So you get this for free, and it's not like some of those cheap Chinese ones, other manufacturers you'll see, you'll pick them up once and they'll just rip. It's particularly with the zip. Guys, this one's got YKK zips. So there's quality here. So you can see sturdy. Give you a closer look. So you can see it's got sturdy YKK zips. You can see how strong the bag is. This bag's like a, it's a bit like a PVC. It's 
it's got the provision where the handle can go through now it's also got a pocket here and inside your pocket is you'll find where your accessories are so one of the main accessories that comes with it is of course the five meter five meter power lead which is on the ground here now you can add additional power leads to that if you want you can extend the difference this is the alligator clamp so you can use this to charge your vehicle battery or any other battery that you wish you get a manual as well you'll get a tag here thanks for choosing uh, with a scan one of those QR codes on here that got an online user guide so I've also got a video that you can view on how to set this up and it's also got a warranty sheet I believe somewhere down here no it's got a tag with some of the specifications on it as well this is similar to what you get on that's on the back of the solar panel it's got a spare corner little plastic thing to help protect the corners so if you happen to damage one they've got a spare one in here and they also nice enough to include a number of these pop rivets as well so you can use out in the field repairs so that's a good idea to keep that inside that little pouch do yourself a favor check out these panels go to australiandirect.com.au here in australia and have a look you won't regret it they're an excellent panel believe me i've been running some tests on this at home out in my backyard and it's performed faultlessly as i mentioned before i am familiar with the kick-ass range of panels haven't owned them over the past five years this is the first of their lightweight series however that i have owned now eventually i probably would have bought one of these so even though kick-ass has given this to me as i mentioned before i only choose products that are good quality that i think will work with my system and has to be very efficient and has to be lightweight for what it does for me so you can see how easy how quick that is to set up you can see the quality features in it my battery is already fully charged after only only being plugged in for some 15 20 minutes and running a coffee machine at that and i had that battery charged within 10 15 minutes after that coffee machine was running thanks for watching my video please subscribe if you haven't subscribed it'll help my channel out enormously also make sure you click on the bell notification to let you know when the new video comes up any questions just ask below in fact next time i go out camping which will probably be next week or the week after i'm going to take these along with me and run some tests and we might even do a live feed as well if i can pick up a strong enough signal where i am and let you know how all this gear is going i know all this gear is going to work fine because i've been testing it out vigorously at home guys i've been testing it out as if i'm camping out in the backyard i've been putting it all the test so guys thanks for watching be kind everyone and look after yourself cheers